everybody, Miss Brossard here, and today we are going to cover a very important skill called mindfulness. So mindfulness um, is opposite of having a mind full of thoughts. It's actually being in the present moment. Oftentimes we find ourselves thinking about the past or thinking about the future and we lose sight of what's going on in this given moment. To use bubbles when we're talking about thoughts and being mindful of our thoughts, just like bubbles, our thoughts are here and then they're gone. Um, sometimes they are rather chaotic and sometimes they can be viewed as rather calm. It's up to us if we stay fixated on a thought or if we just let it drift away. So that's just a fun visual um, when we're learning about thoughts and being mindful of our thoughts and being mindful of when we need to clear some of our thoughts or let some of our thoughts float away. Another mindfulness skill um, or exercise that I like to do is with breathing. I know we did deep breathing a few weeks ago together, um, but I'm gonna teach you um, the five finger breathing. And also with mindfulness, we use our five senses. So I'm gonna use the five for our five finger, finger breathing as well as we'll do a grounding exercise using our five senses. So with the five fingers, you're going to be tracing your hand so you're using the sense of touch but you're also going to be concentrating when you trace each finger you're going to go inhale with your breath and you're going up and exhale when you go down I'm gonna have a worksheet attached to the video as well so that you guys can practice at home but we'll do a full five finger breath which allows for five good deep breaths it's gonna go like this breathe in through the nose breathe out through the mouth breathe in through the nose Breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. And we'll really pay attention to our deep breathing when we're going in through our nose. Our belly should be getting big when we're breathing out through our mouth. Our belly should be getting, getting small. And we're really focusing on good deep breaths. All right, well, we're gonna learn one more mindfulness exercise um, that you guys can practice at home. And that is using your five senses, like I mentioned earlier, when we're doing the five finger breathing. Um, and that is when you're, you're trying to focus on what's going on around you in this given moment, in this present moment. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna close your eyes, you're gonna take your, your deep breaths, and then you're gonna use your senses to identify five things you can see. You're gonna feel four different things around you. So four things that you can touch three things that you can hear, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. And this is a good way to give your brain a break. That is what mindfulness is. It's about giving your brain a break. Um, some other opportunities you might have throughout your day that you can practice mindfulness is when you're eating. Um, I'm having some trail mix right now, and it is a great one that you could use for mindfulness. Um, taking your time to eat something as simple as a raisin and paying attention to like the grooves and how it looks, how it feels, how it smells and then of course how it tastes and just really slowing down um, the process of eating. Um, another opportunity would be when you're dressing in the morning or throughout the day um, and really focusing on the task at hand which would be putting your sock on, putting your other sock on, tying your shoes and believe it or not just giving your brain a break um, and giving your thoughts, putting those thoughts on pause while you're doing some basic skills throughout your day. So I know for many of you, this is a new idea. This word is something that you might not have ever heard of before, um, but I do think it's something that is very helpful. It's helpful for, for us, especially when we're dealing with a lot of changes and things that are outside of our control. Um, so I hope that you found something that you could use and something that you could practice. Um, I really hope to see you all soon, but until then, I wish you well.